I do a lot of uh, black powder cartridge shooting and cowboy action shooting. I had for years and shot uh, black powder cartridges. And uh, it's pretty common for everybody that do, does this is to have to deprime the cases and wash them out afterwards to keep them from turning green and corroding and stuff. Uh, to got into cowboy action shooting, I noticed that the guys at the range that was pretty savvy about all this had a tool to knock out the primer and drop it in a, in a plastic jug with uh, basically soap and water or some other concoction that they made up as a favorite to uh, keep the, get the uh, black powder crud off the cases and, and keep them from corroding. Uh, so to that end, I kind of searched around for a tool that I could use to uh, deprime besides doing it on the press or just using a punch and, and a base to knock them out. I ended up buying a Frankfurt Arsenal tool and uh, I found a lot of faults with it. The one that's big and heavy and bulky, so if you really want to throw it in your bag and take it to the range or on cowboy action shooting, it just takes up a little more space than what you really want. And the uh, grips look ergonomic and comfortable, but they're not. Uh, I see a lot of videos on the YouTube where people have used either shrink tubing on them or wrapped them with a wrap like you'd wrap a uh, golf club handle or, or a tennis racket handle or just tape them up. Because after a while, they, they tend to be uh, rough on your hands. And uh, I thought initially this... this uh, tube canister here to catch the primers would be pretty neat but it turns out that that's kind of a pain because if you don't watch this thing will work loose and just drop all of them and if you get more than a few of them in there and you and you tip it up and instead of down the primers will fall back out of it uh, and that's a mess to the uh, another thing is uh, just don't mess this, the uh, tube that you insert the case into doesn't always uh, come up high enough. I think that can be adjusted to improve that. Uh, another thing is this collet in here, I'll have to turn it to where you can see it, is uh, kind of a pain because instead of uh, having a, a uh, rod that's inside diameter of the uh, case, it depends on this collet tightened down to adjust uh, to uh, center the thing so it gets onto the, the punch will actually go through the hole and it will punch it out. But one of the problems with that is if you go to a smaller case like the 38 Special, this thing is bulky and heavy. They have one here. You have to tighten this down and this plastic uh, has a memory and so okay now you go back to a larger caliber it wants to stay down at, uh, at a small one here uh, so basically i'm not really happy with this this, this setup but one of the uh, old veterans of the cowboy action shooting and bench rest uh, uh, black powder shooting he had a neat tool that I really liked and uh, I managed to trade him out of it it was made by some blacksmith in, in uh, Oregon years ago and it's just simple just hinged a little bit of forging going on here, but uh, the case just slides over here and hooks into that little notch and then you push and out comes the primer. This one here is set up just to do uh, uh, 3840 and 4440 and 4570. And uh, it's a real simple design. It's not very heavy and not very big, but it works. Uh, Anyway, he uh, decided he moved on to a different design because it had a fatter, nicer handles on on it, and uh, 
I knew he wasn't using this one anymore, so I wound up trading him out. I think I'm going to try to replicate this and make one for a 38 special uh, that also deprime. Uh, I thought about just making a, another ram and being able to change this out, but uh, I think I'll just try to make another one just for the challenge of it. Another idea I had was to uh, take, may not use this piece, but uh, some deer antler and uh, make the handles, although this is plenty comfortable, make the handles just a little bit, uh, a little bit fatter out of here on the end where you actually hold it. Do kind of a scissor action here with it. Uh, I originally thought, well, this would be plenty fine out in the in the uh, shooting range where you just pop the primers out and let them fall on the ground or something, or out in the driveway or whatever or something. Uh, but I found just uh, sitting in my easy chair and putting the trash can right beside it. I just set it up like this and poke it down into the into the uh, trash can and uh, pop the, the uh, primer out in the trash can and uh, it was a, a lot uh, more successful than the Franklin Arsenal that kept spilling stuff out so anyway uh, sometimes the old timers had a pretty good idea I don't have a forge set up to, to uh, flatten this and duplicate this exactly right but uh, I think I, it's basically two hinge points and I think I can use a punch out of a, a uh, Lee uh, set I have that uh, basically make it make a replica of it for 38 special.